Today we're going to do rope making 101 from start to finish. We've got a shuttle dog, we've got a rope wrench down there at the other end, we've got our uh, twist box down there, all homemade of course. We're going to tie on our sightsail, use our stick to run our twine. So I made the cross to uh, be able to hold that all apart. And we have lots of color in this row. We've got Kevin holding on to everything here. So it doesn't move on us. sharpened rope wrench. Make sure all our pieces here are about even temp temper. So we don't have one sagging more than the other. Okay, Josh, run down to the other end. Let's see what it's looking like when we get it started here. Is he going the right way, Josh? What? Is he going the right way? Yeah. Good. Keep an eye on that boy. And you can see uh, with that red in there how it's getting a twist. It has more of a twist down there than it does here. Keep going, Kevin. Keep going. No, don't back up. Don't back up. Keep going. And as you can see, it's moving the shuttle dog. Because we're getting tension on the rope. just a little bit here. You're doing good. Okay, you're going to have to go in and get one. Josh will take over for you if you want. Stop there. Let Josh have it now. He's going to step on it. Well, I'm going to let Willie take uh, Says. There we go. 
and you're gonna you're gonna keep tension on this here. So you're gonna hold back on this whole thing. And I'll go ahead. Now you don't want it to uh, jump on you. You can just go right along with it. You see how that red in the rope looks like it's just straight now. in it. Yep. Okay, we're uh, going, we took the cross out. That's uh, one thing you got to do. Then Kevin here is holding the ropes away from each other. Pull the rope. Pull it. Keep moving down. Yep, you can move down. There you go. Good job. Okay, give it a couple rolls, Josh. So what that does is it keeps the as we go that way, it takes some tension out of the head of the rope, so Josh is going to have to keep up just a little bit. Put on here and hold this. I'm going to whip the rope. Hold, just hold it and step on it. Hold it and step on it. There you go. Good job. Oh, so well, yeah, you. yeah, we're already cranked, so let's hold it for a minute, all right? Yeah, and then I'll crank on this, good. and then Josh you can crank good. down there. That'll be good. So a good whipped rope. It's a tight. weave. We're just going around each other and be able to pull back through. So we have enough here to pull back through. We're going to put it inside our loop. Pull up our loop, pulling that piece back inside itself. Just like that. Stick. Yeah, we'll get that in a minute. We gotta whip the other end. I want to whip the end next. I want to whip the end.
You're doing good. You're holding it. Don't turn it. We're already done turning. There we go. Now we can take our tensioning stick. Right now if we let the rope go it will just twist up and notch so this will take some of the twist out of it. Okay Kevin, hold it tight. that uh, stick to uh, smoke. Well, we're doing 100 footers it was. <laughs> Kept a lot of tension up, that's why I'm having issues here. Well, hey. Okay, so what we'll do is cut it up and cut them off the ends and see how good that rope is. Looks like it has a wonderful twist in it. See how that red yarn being twisted up just looks like it's straight. Did I say I just sharpened that? Tech worker than it did last time. <laughs> and see laying on the ground, it doesn't go. Twist itself. Made some rope. There you go on rope machine number two. First one uh, worked great, second one worked better. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. Kevin, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>